What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. As I said it yesterday in the short vlog, I'm posting a new video today and this is the video that you were waiting for. In this video I'll point out that I have a new studio um, and today we will also create something. Create something for Christmas. So my mom asked me to make her some certificates or diplomas for a competition but with the same exact method you can do your own holiday card which gonna be special and unique. Let's see how I do it after the intro. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my new backdrop. This is the Christmassy new backdrop that we have. And this weekend was pretty, pretty busy. It was Thanksgiving weekend and then we went shopping and then we did this wall in like three hours with my friend last night. Um, so I'm kind of exhausted, but Let's not talk about the wall right now, we're gonna talk about the wall in a new vlog coming out, probably next week, because there are a bunch of new things that are coming here and the table will be made and I will show you guys in the next video, but right now we're gonna create something. So my mom is organizing a running competition this year. Here's my mom, she's a coach. It's a coach on a couch. <laughs> So, so she has one of her friends if she can help her out with some certificates or diplomas for the runners. But if you guys are fellow creators just like me, you know how much you get for free. To make this easier, let me drop my phone here. The actual idea comes from this board. It's, it's Santa Claus on a board and there is a countdown for the days until Christmas. She made a pretty good job with this, but there are a couple of things that I do not like. Basically the text on the paper, it's, it's messed up. And then look at this bad Photoshop work right here on the right side where it's like half snowflakes and and she tried to erase the countdown and this is all that she got and it's just cheap and it looks bad. Also the Christmas is kind of on the right side which could, could be like in the middle, it would look better. Also I don't like how the the top, the certificate, the diploma and the oak level in Hungarian is just messed up in here. They misspelled the CSS too, there's an extra C on the bottom. If you guys see there's like a, a pink violet C that's extra. And this was one version. Now if you look at the other certificate, well, this would be cool if Christmas was in July, but I don't really like the color, the orange, it makes it too warm and it's just runners, it seems like runners are running on the beach after the reindeer, no. So today we will completely redesign the first certificate because I kind of like the design of it and I will make a new one as a second one. To get you through the process what I did with the first one, I'll need to drop the phone again on the lens. So I was looking for a random Santa Claus on the internet and I found this beautiful Santa which I dropped on a wood background. I dropped the actual competition information on the paper and then I started to look for some Christmas decorations. It seemed like it was a forever but I found a usable PNG document which I dropped on the previous layers. I modified the color so it's acceptable on the layers. I added the actual certificate, the diploma, it's in Romanian and it's in Hungarian as well. And I started to change the fonts because of course the Romanian characters and the Hungarian characters are not, you cannot really find it in all of the fonts. And then I found this handwritten font, which, pretty, which, which looked good for me. Then I added four in both Romanian and both Hungarian. I dropped some lines, that's where the participant's uh, name is coming. And I was trying to add one more Merry Christmas sign, uh, if it's not obvious enough, after Santa and after the decoration that is Christmas time. I first I tried this, this watercolor um, sign, it wasn't really working, so I just added one more decoration. And then I went into the store again and I found a stamp or, or one of these Merry Christmas signs. Of course, I don't need the Happy New Year part, so I just deleted the Happy New Year part. I also got rid of the end part. Instead of the end, I dropped there from. That's the name of the sport committee and the date. I dropped some snowflakes, then I checked some effects on the picture just to make this more 
believable. Because Santa is real. <laughs> so to highlight the differences between my version and the previous version, here's the previous version. And here's my final version. Down in the comment section below you can tell me which one you like better. Hope it's mine. Now for the second participation card I had to come up with my own idea. And first I wanted to follow this style. But since this competition is for kids, um, I had to be more childish. And for some reason I couldn't really get an idea in my head, so I went to Walmart to get some, some inspiration. I mean, this is cool, the style. But, hmm, or maybe something like this. As soon as I got back, I got a funny, childish, doodle-ish idea, and I just followed it through, through the whole card. Let me show you. So I drew a reindeer. Then I just dropped some red balls. <laughs> All right. Three more balls. <laughs> this is a reindeer with balls. <laughs> And then I added the actual comedy, comedy's name, CSS, and my hometown. Now, I said, let's do this in candy style. So, I read it the whole name by hand, and I colored my reindeer, and voila. It's done. So I copied this over to another app. I added a paper background. I added some snowflakes. I made some Christmas lights. I colored them randomly so nobody argues about the colors. And I just dropped it on the right and on the left. I also drew a Santa Claus. It's a doodly Santa Claus, which I think it's it's pretty funny. And then I dropped the four in Romanian and in Hungarian again for the finalized reindeer Santa doodles certificate card. Uh, look up on your monitor right now. And basically, there you go, guys. With this process, you can make a an easy holiday card or a certificate or or even a thumbnail the only thing that you will need to use is spark post from adobe pixart and to draw i think the best application is the autodesk sketchbook so this style of video was definitely new to my channel but i do a lot of designs similar to this so if you liked it let me know and i can just make a playlist and drop more designs like this Probably next time I can give you advice how to make a thumbnail using these applications and, and I can help you somewhere on your road. <laughs> but again, leave me a like button in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe with the pink snow shovel and see you in the next one. Bye bye. You're still here. You don't have anything better to do. <laughs> okay, here, if you're from Transylvania and you speak both Hungarian and both Romanian languages, you will get the next joke. Just by playing around, I made this card saying in Hungarian, foot, and the response is the foot. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot translate this to English, but if you're from that region and you got the joke, leave me a comment. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>